So it is really hard to get people's attention nowadays. Especially with Facebook and Instagram, there's so much going on. It's hard to get people to stop scrolling and take a look at what you have to say. I mean, all these photos kind of... <laughs> but this is, this is funny. I gotta, I gotta leave a comment. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Anyways, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, photos. You've got to post photos that grab people's attention nowadays. And not everybody has all this expensive camera equipment that, that they carry around with them all day. No, I mean, even if you did, you're not going to carry it around with you all day and get everything that you do every day. But everybody does have one of these, a smartphone. And these smartphones can do some pretty incredible things with their cameras nowadays, if you know how to use it right. And that's what we're gonna talk about today is how to use your smartphone to take incredible pictures that will grab people's attention so that they will pay attention to what your business has to say. Come on. Now the first thing I wanna to talk to you about today is a fundamental principle of photography that's built right into your smartphone. It's actually turned off by default though, so the first thing we're gonna do is go into your camera settings and turn on your grid. And this grid is gonna kinda of look like this. It's gonna have two lines across and two lines up. And this grid is actually a fundamental rule of photography called the rule of thirds. Now the rule of thirds says that if you were to place the subject of your photo along one of these lines or on one of these intersecting points, it'll actually make your photo more compelling and more naturally pleasing to the eye. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go outside. Okay, so say we wanna take a photo of this car. Now, I kinda of just randomly set up the shot. It's kind of centered, but it doesn't really matter. We got what we want in the shot, right? But what if we were to use the rule of thirds? Now the car is lined up with one of our vertical lines and on one of our intersecting points. So it's a little bit more compelling and it actually draws your attention into the car without getting distracted by all the things going on in the background. Come on, I'm gonna show you one more thing about the rule of thirds. Okay, so not only can you use the rule of thirds to place things on the grid lines, but you can actually use other lines in the photo to cut across the grid lines. For instance, these buildings, they cut across the grid lines in what's called leading lines. These leading lines lead you to the subject of the photo. It draws your eye in to where those lines are headed. So you can use this not just with buildings, but with fields of grass. You can use this with the lines and edges of a table, however you want to use it. Play around with it. Use the rule of thirds to try to make your shots more compelling. The next thing we're going to talk about is exposure. Exposure is defined as the amount of light that you let into your camera. And even though your phone does this for you automatically, when you open it up, it's not always right. Every time you take a photo, the subject of your photo needs to be exposed correctly. For example, I would need to turn up the exposure in this shot for my face, even though it's super bright behind me. And I would need to turn down the exposure on this shot, even though it's really dark behind me. So to change the exposure or a shot on your phone, you can just tap on the subject and then swipe up or down to adjust the exposure. You can even lock in that exposure so it doesn't change whenever you move the camera. Just by holding it down, it'll lock in and then you can change the exposure to how you want it and it won't change whenever you move around your camera. But what if the photo's just way too dark? Let's talk about lighting for a minute. Not everybody has access to studio equipment and lighting gear, but everybody does have access to natural lighting, like the sun. So let's say you're trying to take a photo of this plant or another product that you offer. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to light it well is set it next to some natural lighting. The best place for that is a window. So let's just set this here. So now that we have our natural light, the problem now is that we have a shadow on half of the plant from the sun. So we need to fill that shadow in with say, this lamp. Now this lamp is what's called a fill light. It's filling that shadow in from the sun. You don't have to use a lamp, you can use a phone light or a flashlight to even do this. Try not to use the flash on your phone. 
Unless it's a really desperate and dark situation, it's really not worth it, just because it doesn't come out to be very high quality. And here it is, the last tip that I'm gonna give you guys today. Tell a story through all the pictures that you take. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but are you using all of those words to your advantage? Every picture that you post should have some sort of story behind it. So let's say you're selling this plant. You don't wanna just take a boring old photo of this plant. Maybe try taking a photo of somebody planting the plant or someone giving the plant as a gift. Anything that can help people connect to the photo, that's what we wanna see. That's what's gonna get people to stop scrolling and start checking out your business more. Now, if you wanna learn more photography tips or you're interested in our photography or videography services, give us a call at Ugly Mug Marketing at 318-290-3430 or go to uglymugmarketing.com.